Welcome back to my channel everybody and today we're making Rasta Pasta. Welcome to Kevy's Kitchen. If you want to, you can pause the screen right here. We've got a rainbow assortment of peppers and onions, shrimp, I've got marinades, fresh garlic, some jerk chicken that's already been cooked, it's been chilled, our pasta. We're going to go ahead and get started with this. I'm going to take these seasoned shrimp and don't worry about what herbs and spices that I've used because they're all going to be listed for you down low in the uh, description box there. going to heat these shrimp up on uh, medium high heat with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. If you haven't already, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bells, and give this video a like. You know I greatly appreciate the, all of that. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. Look at all that goodness. Mmm. You can smell this kitchen right now, it smells so good. I'm gonna go in with a little more extra virgin olive oil. In the same pan, because you know, we aren't trying to do a whole bunch of dishes tonight. This is literally a two pot meal. One pan to sear and prepare yourself, the other pot to boil your pasta. and saute your peppers and onions when you're ready. You want them to still have their own natural crunch to them so you don't want to over saute this. So watch it carefully. Get them well coated in the oil and begin to sweat them out until the onions begin to uh, become tender and translucent. We're gonna go ahead and add in some onion powder, some garlic powder, and some Creole spice. A little Creole seasoning, you can use any flavor that you like. I happen to love Tony Sachery's. Zatarans will also work in a pinch because I love them too. And don't be afraid of the seasoning here. Just sprinkle till your ancestors tell you to stop. We're going to add in about seven to eight cloves of freshly chopped garlic. Oh, that looks so good. Now we're gonna add in an unhealthy amount of homemade butter. Don't forget the cream and the salt and pepper. Oh yeah, we are not skimping on the spices and seasonings in this dish. All right, now we're gonna go in with a little bit of heavy cream. The same cream I used to make my butter. I will never buy store-bought butter again. Thank you very much, my dear friend Eric. Bought me an amazing Christmas gift. I love my KitchenAid, so I'm gonna use it, abuse it, and use it some more. <laughs> All right, of course, you know, the fresh cracked black pepper. And this is the fundamentals or the foundation, if you will, for our sauce. After we've added everything into this, we're gonna cut our heat up and then we're gonna let it thicken and reduce down. Then we'll lower the heat down to a simmer and continue building the sauce. Ooh, one of the stars of the show here. I'm a huge fan of Walker Woods hot and spicy jerk marinade. You can use it for shrimp, you can use it for skewers like I'm doing in another video, you can use it for pretty much anything. Jerk chicken is always wonderful, but this right here <laughs> is my secret ingredient. This is Adirans crab bowl. You don't need much because baby she is fire. <laughs> Give it a good whisk as your sauce begins to uh, froth and bubble and boil. You can lower your heat down once you notice the um, consistency of your sauce that coats the back of the spoon. Oh 
Now we're gonna add in a little fresh Parmesan cheese. Someone grated it, but it was not me. <laughs> not today, we aren't on that level yet. If you're not a fan of Parmesan, you can feel free to omit this step. We can add in all of our meats and stuff, but look at the sauce. It's reduced down, it's thick. It's almost like a really hearty Alfredo. And that's really the vibe you're going for here. Ooh, look at all of that. Oh, I could eat that by itself. Just, oh man. Ooh, this was so good. The smells and the aroma are just smacking me in the mouth right now. You know, we got to mix it up real good in these streets. I hope everybody's doing well. Leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on down below. Now, typically, I will always shred my own cheese, but that was not an option today. I had to use what I had to use. So we went ahead with a uh, half a cup at a time of the uh, shredded uh, cheeses. And now a little Maryland love. Traditionally, this is something you will not find in a Rasta pasta, but I wouldn't be me if there wasn't a little bit of uh, my home cooking. <laughs> Lump blue crab and someone came for me in their comments not too long ago. I appreciate the comment though. Fold it gently. You do not want to break up the lumps. If you have to, you have to, but it is what it is. You understand. So sexy. <laughs> yeah, baby. As Mr. Make It Happen says, looking good. <laughs> you guys haven't seen this channel yet. You definitely need to go check it out. I'm going to drop a link in below for you. Oh my gosh. I chose penne pasta, but you can add a pasta of your choice. Parpadel is going to be a really good option. Rotini could be a great option. Even angel hair is a good option. But once your rasta pasta is all set, your sauce is good. Top it all off on a bacon dish or however you choose to serve it. Serve it on up. Don't forget to drink a drink on the side and enjoy. Man, I can't wait to make this again. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Do enjoy the rest of the video and let me know. Look at that. Mm, man, it's good. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hope you all are doing wonderful. Thank you so much for not giving up on me. I know it's been um, a little bit since I've been able to upload some videos, but my brother is busy and I'm doing all I can do. Still filming, just editing and uploading and whatnot. But this Rasta Pasta... Boom, here for all of that. Did you miss the reaction bite? Did you, did you? <laughs> Yo, this is stupid. <laughs> all right, friends, you already know what time it is. Thank you for hanging in there with me. I appreciate you. God bless your heart and all your parts. I can't even continue to speak. I'm going to see y'all next week.